another video from Rachel by Ceramics. I hope you're going to enjoy this. This is brushwork. I'm going to do hibiscus tonight and a little dragonfly. Oh, there we go, a little already. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, with it, we're going to try to do it in about 10 minutes, so we'll get cracking. So I'm going to use my own brush set, um, which I had made ooh, about five, six years ago, and they are really good quality brushes weighted they have a really fine chisel edge which is important when you're doing brushwork you can see how fine it is there and they've got a fantastic bounce and they feel good in your hand they've got perfect handles which obviously the paint can't come off the color goes all the way through and i'm going to use color to clay but you could use one stroke as well as well so you can use either an m-gobe or a one stroke to do brushwork it's better to use those types of paints rather than one that's got frit in it which doesn't sort of flow as well and the, and the pigment is not as strong your so, brush sets are available on the website aren't they they are yes yeah they're available they make, on the website and they make a great christmas that's present. exactly what i was going to say they'd make a good christmas present yeah, they would they would okay so here we have a the, the plate which i've already I've, this is a hand thrown plate and the, it's, it was slightly cream because the stoneware is cream so i've base coated it and then i've just painted the black the black the black the back blue and then i've used a banding sponge just to band it a blue around the edge just to save time and i thought you probably have seen that before uh, the brush that i'm going to use is a round a large round oh i did have it out here we are a large round full of paint already because I had a I thought I'll just paint one small flower to try it out and see what we think so I'm going to show you how to load your brush so this is just ad libbing a bit it's there's no design sort of in my head I'm just um, making it up as I go along so I'm loading with a turquoise fully loading quite heavily in the brush and then I'm tipping with the dark blue uh, hibiscus has got five petals so I'm just going to lay it down like that all the way down to the metal and then I give it a little wiggle like that to make a skirt can you see wiggle 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 you pick up the back so it, it slightly comes off the back and you shunt it forwards and then you pull it back and you give it a little turn as you go so there you go and then another stroke so push it right down give it a little wiggle Pick up the back, shunt it forwards, and pull it back. Load the paint down, give it a little wiggle. Pick up the back, shunt it forwards, and pull it back to the centre. Make it look so easy. This is an easy stroke, it really is. <laughs> down it goes, give it a little wiggle. So I've gone right down, you can see right down to the metal. Down, wiggle it till the brush goes really big. Push it forwards, that makes it all raggy. And then as you come back, turn it and lift it off down it goes give it a little wiggle shunt it forwards and pull it back there you go one hibiscus so oh, there we go get me out a little <laughs> can anybody a make small... some suggestions <laughs> underneath for well, I... what she can use instead of little <laughs> <laughs> so i'll yeah. do another flower down it goes wiggle Shunt it forwards and pull it back. Down it goes, shunt it forwards and pull it back. Down it goes, shunt it forwards and pull it back. Don't forget to lift it up though. Down it goes, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Pick the back up, shunt it forwards and pull it back. Wiggle, 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 shunt it forwards and then pull it back. I will say that this this has actually been fired on has this blue ring and the white simply because uh, we're doing all these videos. I wash it off when I've done it and um, then we just whiten the plate again if, in case it's stained a little bit so we can use it again because otherwise I would be a wash with pottery. And I'm, uh, because I am a wash with pottery, if I was to take it downstairs, you would die at the amount of finished wear there is and we have boxes and boxes of finished wear because this year we've been not able to do any kind of shows and we and shops all 
all the shops that I do want the same things and it's nearly all thrown work I'm throwing in porcelain now so I'm going to sell everything that I have finished in the shop every Friday live on uh, Facebook which is um, oh, what's it called uh, <laughs> Fired Art Designs Painter Pot is that is that your own pot there? Fired Art Designs Paint Your Own Pottery is it no, yeah. no, I can't remember. But anyway, yes. we're going to do it live every Friday at 7 o'clock. So if you would like to buy some finished pottery at a very reasonable price to help me clear my studio so I can start again, that would be great. Um, well, I'm going to do a bud. Now I'm not really sure what the buds look like, so I'm just going to pop it on, push, and then pull it in, and then do another one next to it push and pull it in. I'm not really sure what an hibiscus bud looks like, so I'm just doing that. And then everything should be in odd numbers, really. So that's what I like anyway. So I'll do another one here, push and pull it back. Push and pull it back. Push and pull it back. I'm just looking to see if I can find you one, but push and pull it back. They're a bit like a rosebud. So that'll do. Yeah. yeah. Push and put it back. Okay, so we've got three, but we need another um bud to make it look odd numbers. Oops, press push it on and push it off. Okay, so that's that bit done. So we'll let that dry a little bit and go on to the leaves. So to do the leaves, you need a brush that has got a really nice chisel. So you can see here, uh, it's really fine it, and it's not splayed. Um, and then you need to blend your colour. So I've got a tile here. So, and you have to, you know, this is not going to be the finest of work because it, this is a, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minute video. Well, we're on seven. Oh, we're not doing too bad then. Seven minutes. So I'm loading now. I don't know if you can see me loading. Can you see me mm -hmm. loading? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm loading with a light green and then I'm going to side load. Now when you side load, this is the side of the brush and the metal is um, comes down a little bit beyond the hair. So if you do that, you can sort of hear it. And so you are literally getting the side of the brush. But if you were to paint now with that, it'd be like a little zebra crossing. So you blend the brush like that. And then you flip it over and like that and you flip it back and back so that what happens is the color travels through the brush and then it's a softer softer um paint if you blend. like so it's a softer blend that's right so i'm going to pop a few leaves in let me think what's the leaf like we'll just do a wiggly leaf so yeah quite wiggly i think yeah oh good guess Good guess. I should know actually. I did horticulture before I decided to be a potter, but you know. which is helpful when you paint on flowers. Yeah. So, <laughs> what you do is you think, um, think of a put if you're not do, haven't done it before, put a V uh, in to start with, and you're working to, from six o'clock to 12 o'clock. And you go angle the brush, angle shader. You can use a square shader, but I think I prefer the angled one for this. And what you're going to do is zigzag, 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 and come up to the 12 o'clock. So you start here and go zigzag, 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 and then up to 12. And then you turn the piece and then you go back. And come up. Okay. And again, you make it look so easy. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I've done in my time lots and lots and lots of seminars with the best i've david hoff did a lot with david hoff did a lot with Rhonda thorne donna jubri all of the people that are amazing at brushwork and i love doing brushwork so um so that's so you just keep practicing i can remember david used to say he used to practice water by the phone when he was talking to people oh god so right so line this one up and again zigzag 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 and up again load and load blend 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 and it is important to have decent brushes and decent um paints 
to do this. When people say, oh, I'll get some cheap brushes and have a go before I invest in brushes, well, don't bother because you're just going to get, um, it's going to be so hard to do with brushes that are not made for the job. Uh, I had these made because these are square, rather than, quite often you find a brush, I don't know if I can see one in here, but they're more like a letterbox, like rect rectangular. Um, we'll just have one a minute ago. Actually, look. Yeah. Well, that's uh, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter, but there might be some over there. They're kind of rather long instead of, as, you want them as square as you can get them. And as thin as you can get them. So zigzag, 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 and off. <laughs> Like that. Yeah, like that. You see how long that is for me to get and how fat it is. I'm not saying it's a bad brush, but it's not for brush work. You see, it's the same, this is the same width, but it's much shorter and it's much thinner. So, thank you. Your trusty assistant. Yeah, trusty. <laughs> My PAs, Rachel usually calls me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I need one of those. Now, where are we going to put this? I have one coming out of here. Let's keep wiggling the brush around, have their play around. I need the brush. I, I'm loading it quite, quite heavy. The paint. I'm blending it. I am loading nearly every time. And because it because I'm doing it so quickly, it's, it's like waiting for the paint to dry. That's the thing because I want to go over some of the leaves. This is this color is quite opaque because it's a clay paint, and so it does color uh, cover up the one that's underneath. But I just don't want to go on it while it's wet. And you can um, go back in and have another go at blending it if you're not happy with the first blend. And you can put other shades of green in if you wanted to as well, or even white looks rather nice. There we go. And then I'm going to do some, um, we'll do a, can you see that? I'm not sure what the camera's seeing. Yeah, you can see it really well. Yeah, good, good. Um, mm -hmm. This is probably going to be, how many minutes have we been on now? We're doing 12 and a half. Yeah, 12 and a half. So you make, make manage it. I won't because I'm, I'm outlining, outlining it. So. Right. Oh, 15, yeah, I might manage it in 15. So I am going to get a round brush now and make um, the, um, the buds belong to something. Get a bit of green. Bit of green, a little bit of a light green. Right, so I'm going to get pressure on and pressure off. Pressure on and pressure off. Bring that one round. Pressure on and pressure off. And then do some maybe a liner. Just grab one, a longer liner, maybe a rigger, maybe. Mine has a, a short liner in it, but not a rigger. So just pull some stems in. Um, hmm, where can I have that coming from there? Can I have that coming from there? That coming from there. So I hope you'll have a go at this and subscribe, it's absolutely free, and comment, that would be great, in order for the channel to grow and make me want to do more seminars. Um, right now we've got a little, oh no, I've done a little, uh, we've got, <laughs> I thought I was doing so well, uh, I'm going to do the um, staining, so I'm going to load this is a difficult load. I just want to load the back of the brush with the dark green and then yellow and then orange. 
and give this a shunt as well. So lay it down, give it a little wiggle. Oh, there's a little. Another little. And then pull it back and then pull it in. So yellow, orange, oops, back of the brush green. And then tip, smash it down, wiggle, push forwards and pull back. Yellow, orange, back of the brush green, a bit more orange. Um, where can we put that? We'll put that over there because that would look quite nice over the green. Push, push, and then into there. Lovely. And then if you get uh, in the set, there is um, a rake. So cool because it looks look like a rake. Uh, I'm going to do some little... Um... Oh, God, no, not another little. <laughs> Um, I'm going to do some small <laughs> dots. So make sure the brush is quite open like that. So you clear it a little bit. <laughs> and <laughs> do some dots like that. It's quite great to get a lot of paint on, but as well, you do want them to be separated. Can you see? And then do some more little dots. I'm not saying a word. <laughs> <laughs> and she she gets there's more littles come out when we've had an extra glass of wine or two. <laughs> yeah, I've had I have had three glasses of wine now. Okay, I'm a bit annoyed. I've got a little. Oh no! <laughs> I've got some paint there. Oh, I'll just blend and see if I can wipe it off. I'm going to splat those. I am going to splat, but not with blue paint. No. Gone. Okay, so I'm going to try now with a new pen that we've had made. Um, not in stock yet, but being shipped as we speak. Uh, the ceramic pen, long awaited. If you look at it, it comes in three sizes. I put in here um, clay paint or one stroke you can put in. And then I put flow improver in. You don't have to, but you, you can. You can make it thick if you want thicker paint. Uh, you can pipe with it. And it comes with one thinner than this and one fatter than this. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see, this is the needle is made to fit the cap. And you just write like a pen. Now, this isn't my forte. The pen writer is sitting in front of me. He's the one that does all the writing. I'm dyslexic, I hate writing but I will have a go. So if, if I was to put my name, I just, you just sign it like that. Oh, well, not bad. But I am going to try outline this piece. So we'll see, I've never done this before, so we'll see what it's like. Fantastic. Rachel gets really upset while she's doing this. She gets really upset because I'm making her not keep things and fire them. So this is such a beautiful piece now. When she's finished, she'll be wanting to fire it in. But I'm going to make her rub it all off because we've got that many pots in this studio. As like she said, we're going to be um, having a sale. Um, and if she has any more, we'll, we'll not be able to get rid of the ones that we've got because she'll just be making more to put in the studio so now how easy is that normally we would be doing that with a liner and it would take ages to and you, you're doing it quite um abstract I'm, haven't you yeah i'm not trying to make which it is what we try and do with a liner don't we, we, we it, it doesn't always succeed because you end up flowing more with a liner don't you end up mm -hmm. And this pen that Rachel's using is ideal as well for like kids to sign the piece of work or even, even adults to sign the piece on the back if you want to, you know, put your own signature on. We've Well, we have. Uh, the kids have been using them, haven't they? Yeah, that's really good. 
I wasn't sure how it would work on paint, but it doesn't seem to no, be blocking. You just need to not lean too heavy on the paint, I think, when you're doing it. Not very good writing, but there you go. Uh, and then I'm going to splat it a, a little bit. Oh, a lot. <laughs> and Rachel's going to give this to me to put it back in. Oh, look at that. Oh, you've done it. Woo. And I didn't go to Specsavers. <laughs> that sort of little bit that I found a bit difficult to line it up. But I, I love it. I really do like it. And I'm going to just splat the paint on. And then be a about, bit modern. About 20 minutes, 21 minutes. Okay. Splatted in time. okay. I'm going to stand out of the way now because okay. <laughs> so I'm end up this is a, a fantastic brush that's a, oh, it's a signature brush. Is it called? Sharp. And it's, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but it's sharp or scarf or sharp. It's or sharp, I think. Sharp. Uh, it's a bit German. Um, I'll put the link below. Would you believe it? I have had this brush uh, 28 years and I love it. It's called the Supreme Script brush. brush. So it's great for writing if you're good at writing, but it's great for splatting. You need a bit more water in it. You're going to want to buy that. I can tell. Oh, look at that. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Anyway, hope you like it. That's a nice quick workshop. Uh, hibiscus, and uh, obviously, if you took longer, it'd be a lot neater. But yeah, I think that's okay. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe, it's absolutely free. Put the comments below, and uh, we'll do more videos if you've enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.